Hi everybody. I don't really do lives like that the way my husband does. So, you know it's serious when I'm doing a live. Little Maya's here, say hi. She, um, she does not want to lay down right now. She will cry and I don't want her to start crying in the middle of the prayer. Hold on. Man, I have been getting spiritual opposition lately and I'm, I get, I get mad. I get mad, I'm gonna be honest, I get mad. Not at the people, at the demons, at Satan, at the enemy. I get, I get so mad and I'm a, <laughs> I'm a crier in like every emotion. So like you can probably hear me already getting choked up. I have been getting spiritually attacked and I was just talking to a couple of my sisters, my girlfriends, and it seems just like the church as a whole has been getting, you know, crazy, crazy spiritual opposition. And that's one reason why we know it's serious right now is we're, we're in the last days. We're in the end days. Okay. It's so obvious. The Bible is being played out in, in our eyes. And I've been getting messages from people, comments from people. A lot of people are going through it right now. And obviously, Jesus said, where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there in the midst. And I believe that also applies to cyber gather gatherings such as this. So I just want everyone to pray with me. You can put your prayer requests in the comments. And I know that God's going to touch everyone's request to name. I just feel a fire in my soul. I never feel that to do lives, but I want right now for us to, we, I want us to fight in the spirit. I want us to fight in the spirit because I, I can't, I can't go through this battle unarmed. We have to put on the whole armor of God. And it's so obvious that the enemy is mad at us right now. Hold on. I think she spit up. I can't find the burp claw. One sec. Alrighty. So I just want everyone to join me in prayer right now. Father God, thank you. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for teaching us how to be holy, teaching us about you, how to have a relationship with you. Thank you for teaching us how to pray. God, I just pray for every single person that's on this live with me. I pray that you cover them with a hedge of protection right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we are going through so much opposition right now, and we're only human, and we can't, we cannot go through this without you. We can't. We need you. We need you. You're the only thing that matters right now. Jesus, <laughs> you have given us, you have given us the authority to trample on scorpions and serpents. And I command every demon and imp that is attacking the church to go back to the fiery pits of hell right now in the name of Jesus. I command chains to break right now, even through this live in the name of Jesus. Enemy, you have no authority over us, no dominion. We are children of God. You cannot touch us. You cannot touch us. I command people to be healed. I command people to be delivered. I command people to be encouraged and at peace through the storm right now. Help us to rest in you no matter what is going on. I pray that you touch everyone's health issues. I pray that people recover from any surgeries or procedures they've had. I pray that you touch people's finances. I pray that you restore relationships, marriages, everything in the name of Jesus. You said everything will work out for our good and we are trusting you, Jesus. 
Help us to not let go of your hand. And even if we feel led to, bring us back. Bring us back. Don't let us go. Do not let us go, Jesus. The Bible says we do not serve a high priest who doesn't understand. You've been here in our shoes, Jesus. You've been tempted. You've been backstabbed. You've been persecuted. You understand. And I'm so grateful to serve a God who understands the things that we go through. I thank you for never letting us go. I pray for the people that persecute us. I pray that you open their eyes, Jesus. Let the scales and the eyes fall. Open their ears to hear. Open their hearts to receive you and your word in the truth. I pray that you bring all the darkness into the light where no one, no one, no one, no one can deny you any longer. Even before you show up in the clouds where people will, we, we will see you. I pray that people get their lives together even before that happens. I pray that you supernaturally touch people to experience you, Jesus. And I just thank you that you are such a good father. I thank you for protecting us. I thank you for holding on to us. It's not time to sleep. We are in a war, church. We are in a war. It's not time to sleep. It's not time to sleep. Don't forget your mission. If you are here, God created you for a reason. He created you to advance his kingdom. He created you to make disciples. He created you to bat go around baptizing people in Jesus' name. He created you to have a relationship with you. He created you to trample on the devil. Do not let the enemy come and take you from your post. Ever. He is defeated. He is defeated. And he's going to give you every single thing that he can to make you forget whose you are. Do not forget whose you are. Do not forget who you are. You have authority. He is under our feet. Do not, do not, do not forget who you belong to. Do not. We won. Jesus. Jesus lives inside of us. The enemy can't touch us. And if Jesus allows something to happen to us, it's for the greater good. We are going through things right now because it's going to help people in the world. People who are going through the same thing who don't know Jesus. Jesus will bring us through our trials to be a testimony to other people. Do not forget that. Jesus has not forgotten about you. He cares about you. And he also cares about the souls that your testimony will touch. Don't let the enemy, don't let him come and make you forget. Has Jesus not brought you this far? He did not bring you this far to leave you now. He is the same God that has brought you this far. He's brought you this far and he's going to keep taking you as long as you don't let go of his hand. And I want to encourage everyone it's not time to sleep. We are, the enemy is trying to make the church weary, weary right now. But there is a remnant that is rising up. There is a wave, like my husband's conferences, there is a wave coming. The church is going to rise up. We are the victors in this war. Don't let the little battles that the enemy tries to give you make you think that you lost. You already won. And I declare that right now in the name of Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, you can message me. I have, if you live somewhere else, I have a friend who you can contact who, to help you find a church home near you. Get baptized in Jesus' name. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. And learn who you are in Christ. Because you have a purpose. You have a purpose. And just because... You feel like the world is on your shoulders right now. You, the creator of the world, who has the world in his hands, lives inside of you. He will not take you to it if he's not going to bring you through it. 
if you feel led, go ahead and pray by yourself right now. But I, I wanted to pray with you guys. I wanted to remind you guys who you are in Christ. And let remind you that the war is already won. All this extra stuff in this world is just to distract us. Don't let the enemy distract you. I love you all. God bless you.